Hello, Chris. How are you doing today? Hey, doing great. Thank you. I'm so happy to have you. Um, for everybody that's joining online, I'm Jennifer Bagley with DNet Events, and I'm here on behalf of Untied. Tyler was going to join us today, but he couldn't. He's in Austin at another event. So we have the most amazing speaker. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to um, invite you to um, this uh, live broadcast where we're going to go over a little bit about what you're going to be talking about at the Untied event. So I hear you've been speaking at an Untied quite a bit, yes? Uh, we have, and the group that assembles, I mean, that is a quality group. They really are, just great people. Isn't it? It's um, it's different. You know, there's a hundred different networking events and things to go to, but I mean, you and I were on the same. As speakers, we're always looking for, I'm not necessarily looking for an audience of a hundred, but I am looking for 10 or 20 or 30 really quality people. What's one of the things that you noticed about participating in Untied you'd recommend to other people? You know, one thing is just, uh, it's not just the networking, but you can tell because of the quality of the questions that come out of it. I mean, these are executives who know, manage, um, have direct reports coming to them. And so you, it's just a completely different level. I don't feel like uh, we're selling to or talking with or explaining things to the one-off kind of, you know, single business person, although there's a few of them there. I just think it's really great because there's a lot of rich, um, you know, just experience in the group. You know, that's a perfect so segue. So for those of you who are watching who aren't familiar with Untied, it's um, this is a by invitation only organization. Um, you can register and ask for an invitation, but you do have to get approved. So the way to do that is to go to untied.com, click on register, and there's an application that you can fill out to see if um, you qualify to be uh, uh, accepted to join one of the, the sessions or the events. I will tell you from... Um, Everything that I know, what really they're looking for is experienced executives, seasoned CEOs, high-level professionals. Typically, you've been in business or owned your business for three-plus years. You have three or more employees, and those are some really just kind of um, finite details as far as the types of individuals that are attending these meetings. You know, I love the fact that when you bring those individuals together, we have the same issues, we have the same challenges, we're able to brainstorm on the same um, same topics and so forth. You know, it's the same with you, right? Yeah, I mean, everyone, it, it's kind of a, a fallacy to think that you can uh, really rise and, uh, and grow as an organization without someone extending a hand. And the truth is, is that I lean on people all the time. I have, uh, you know, I have a, a board of friends, and I use people even in Untied as much as possible to just, you know, bounce questions off and what have you done in this situation? And these guys and gals have been around, and uh, it's great to have that, you know, bank of, of understanding and knowledge there and wisdom. Oh, I love it. I love sitting down with someone that I've met from there, or um, one of my mentors, or or strategic partners, and getting pushed. Yeah. I like it when I'm not the smartest person in the room and I get challenged on how, why haven't you thought of this or why didn't you consider this or why aren't you doing this. So um, it's a really incredible group. Well, back to what's most important. You're going to be speaking there. We're going to be having you at the um, Plano location. This is going to be on October 11th. Uh, early in the morning. You can't get all the details unless you register and go through the approval process. But, um, you know, you guys, um, yourself and your company, More Cabbage, you guys have really been identified as um, a major leader, leader in the digital marketing arena. And I know that during this particular um, event, we're going to be talking about social media and PR and also about something that is so needed, which is really the relationship strategy, how to generate those relationships, how to leverage those relationships and strategic partnerships in the digital space. Can you tell them a little bit about what they can expect by attending this event? Yeah, sure. I think that, uh, first of all, it's really for all uh, levels of skill. So anyone who's a little bit new to social or has been around the block quite a bit, um, everyone has something to get out of it. I really try to take a 30,000-foot view as well as, um, you know, give some nuggets that people can take away. And I think that's really helpful so that everyone's really engaged and we get a lot out of it. Um, but I also think a really key uh, topic that I'm going to make sure that we cover is on our, uh, is on relationship strategy. And it really deals with um, the idea that a lot of folks uh, either wonder or, or may even know this already, that they might just be dabbling in social. And, uh, you know, they've, they've gone out, they've, they've been involved with uh, getting Facebook, Twitter, you know, YouTube pages set up, or maybe their company has, or someone that they know has done it for them. 
But the point is, is that it's kind of like, where does it go from there? What are they doing with it? What, how is it actually having effect on markets and, uh, and certainly on their success and lead generation? I love that um, I've done a lot of speaking in that area and I always tell people that the social environment is about connect and convert, connect yes. and convert, connect right. and convert and I know you specialize in being able to get people um, to really become a, a magnet from a marketing standpoint but then to take that next step because it's we can't have marketing dollars going out the wazoo and yes. not have those customers coming in to support that. So in a social environment it's a lot different than in a search environment. But I know your your next topic, you are going to bring it back and you're going to talk about what that trifecta looks like of intermix and the relationship and the kind of marriage that has to happen between social and search and content and how all those things intermingle. Yeah, you're really nailing it on the head. That's it. Because at the end of the day, isn't it all about people doing business with people? And really the way that I kind of look at it is it's like a marriage, uh, maybe more like an engagement. Uh, in an engagement, we're in relationship and we're moving towards something final. Um, that doesn't come necessarily overnight. And it does require a lot of uh, touch points along the way, so to speak, to get to that place. And so we really honor and value it. And I think it's important that anyone who kind of, who really believes that relationships are key to business, I think are already a very successful candidate for social. We just need to get them up to speed and trained on how to do it as best as possible. I always tell them, show up, suit up, and participate. That's yeah. their, they all know that I say that all the time. <laughs> so I think that's great. I like your style. I love the fact that you want to get these executives engaged and understanding the importance, but not just the importance of how they can take those next steps, how they can become involved, how they can get their organizations and show that leadership that has to take place in order to have the company buy-in. What is your thoughts on, um, you know, I don't think it can be just the leadership. I think they have to really learn how what that next step is. How do you get the organization and their team members, and even more so, how do you get your customers to engage in that process with you? Yeah, that's a great question because I think a lot of people, that's part of dabbling in social media. A lot of folks just say, hey, we'll just put our brand out there. Well, you know what? Brands don't talk to people that well. Mm -hmm. They really don't. And I think in that instance, it's really kind of a turn that your mind needs to take and go, okay, so my brand is my people, therefore my people need to be engaging with people. The tricky part is that those are one-on-one -on -one conversations, and from an economic standpoint, who has the time or the resources to have one-on-ones? Well, we kind of look at social as multiple one-on-ones. Mm -hmm. And I think the way to play that out is to think about how the technology really allows us to manage multiple relationships at any one time. So it still gives us the opportunity to have one-on-ones, but we sort of do it in a public view. Um, helping companies to understand that we do need to find champions within their group that can help and participate and feed into this. Um, we need to train some salespeople on what to do. and um, I can maybe reemphasize that again, train, because that is a big part of what we have to do these days. But at the end of the day, it is becoming more social as a business. And I think that's a buzzword that you'll see out there is social business. Absolutely. I think it's interesting, you know, if you look at this, um, the old school methodology, right? You hear people all the time say, I don't have enough time, we don't have enough time, we don't have enough resources. However, right now, today, they know their number one source of new business should come from existing clients. So they're constantly trying to figure out, how do I engage my existing customers? How do I stay in contact with existing customers, past prospects, strategic partners, vendor relationships? And when you have that one-on-one -on -one relationship, it does feel like there's not enough time, right? You feel like it's exhausting. I've got five salespeople, I've got 200 clients, and if we spill over one more client, somebody's falling off the end of the caboose, right? But in a digital environment, it's so much easier because you can you can replicate yourself like we are today. This recording is going to last forever. So technically, we just bought more time, right? And same yeah. thing um, like you were talking about with social media. I love your approach. Well, thank you very much. We've... Uh I have to say that it, you know, before there was social, we were social. I mean, we were very relational. We understood those principles. And uh, I know that we're not unique to that, and a lot of people do. But now, really, I think it's about coming and experience what's, how do we take what we already know in sort of the offline world of being in relationships with people, being intentional with how we do business, and then kind of translating that over to social media and how to make that work for the best of everyone. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, I'm excited. I hope October 11th. I hope I can come because I would love to attend this event. And uh, if I do, I'm going to be snapping.
photos of you the whole time. So, um, Chris, thank you so much, and um, everyone on your team for giving us the time and you um, dedicating your time to Untied and to all of these executives. Um, again, you guys, um, this event is going to be on October 11th. The way to register is to go to untied.com, register there, or you can go to dnetevents.com. You can look at the event calendar and see all the different events that are there. I know we're going to have Chris come back and speak at different locations as well, so mm -hmm. if you missed this one, we will have him back. I think I'm going to try and convince him to live broadcast the event. In case I can't attend, I'll get to watch it from anywhere. Uh, so as a... Uh, we further um, go through that, then of course we'll let you know. Um, if anybody wants to get in touch with Chris or myself, please don't hesitate. You can do that by going to um, dnetevents.com. You're going to go to the event calendar, click on October 11th, and there's a web form on there. And if you'd like to talk to Chris in advance or ask him some questions, please don't hesitate to do that. Fill out that form. We'll make sure that he gets that and you guys are connected. Chris, do you have any final um, thoughts for our folks listening? No, just thank you. We'll see you out there being social. And uh, Jennifer, thank you for all the good that you do, and, and especially in the DFW area and beyond and across the country. It's really a great thing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, hon. We'll talk to you soon. Everybody else, right. adios. You can catch this video on uh, youtube.com forward slash dnetevents. Thanks again.